Employees at bankrupted art and furniture slapped with termination papers amidst the COVID-19 outbreak. As Jermont Terry shows us, that nearly 5,000 employees learned something else they especially needed ended immediately, their health insurance. The company's bankruptcy shocked many, especially the employees. They were told that they had 60 days to keep working and to keep their health insurance. But now in the middle of this coronavirus outbreak, they've learned that they won't return. He worked at Art Van for 17 years. Jennifer Reed and her husband left Michigan four years ago and followed Art Van Furniture when it expanded into Illinois. Because uh, it was a good company to him. The key words was good to him. Yet today, the signs out front tell of Art Van's demise. Liquidation after the furniture giant filed Chapter 11 bankruptcy earlier this month. Employees like Jennifer's husband told at the time they had 60 days to keep working. He would still get paid no matter how many hours he was working until May 5th. Um, we would still have our benefits. Then last week, when the COVID-19 pandemic hit, employees received this letter letting them know everyone was terminated. Completely, completely without health insurance or any benefits, job, pay, anything um, in the middle of a crisis. The notice informed them they would only get paid for hours worked, holding something back. Vacation pay, we can't even get paid out for right now because um, we have to go through the bankruptcy. But the employees will have to get in line with the thousands of customers with money tied up in our van and paid furniture just sitting here in warehouses throughout Chicago. There are about, I guess, $35 million in consumer deposits for goods that won't be delivered. Attorney Clint Krisloff handles class action claims. It's, it's not that there's no money. It's just that there is enough money for everybody. He says under Art Van's bankruptcy, employees are allowed to get vacation pay and money before consumers. There may be enough to pay uh, some significant amount. But consumers and employees must file a claim, and I'm told that the employees are currently working on preparing to file a class action claim against this company. Reporting in Bedford Park, Jermont Terry, CBS 2 News.